All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless me here talking real music in real time and some real issues thrown in for a few real people who are left just like you right there and just like me here. All right, so um, Wolfgang Van Halen had a little mishap. Uh, he stepped off the bus and he sprained his ankle and now has to wear a protective boot on his left foot for the next four to six weeks. Um, they show a picture of Wolfgang and then they show a picture of his leg with the boot on it. Um, this is one big dude, okay? Uh, and I, look, I say big and some people will um, say large and in charge, okay? Wolf is a big guy. Um, and I think maybe at this point, Somebody needs to intervene on his behalf. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if this guy has an eating disorder. I don't know if he just says bleep it, take me as I am. You know, when he was uh, with Van Halen, or when I, when Van Halen was touring, uh, and he was the bass player. Um, you know, he made a little bit of an effort during those early days to kind of keep his weight in check. But, you know, you walk off a bus and you've got a sprained ankle and now you've got to wear a boot for up to six weeks. Um, he's only 30 years old. I mean, people get on Vince Neal as they should. Vince is twice his age though. And I'm not cutting Vince any slack here, but um, back in the day, Vince did not have this problem. And uh, anyone who knows, uh, you know, what happens when you get older, typically your metabolism drops, you're not as active, yada, 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 testosterone, all that fun stuff. He's only 30 years old, Wolfgang Van Halen. And he was supposed to do a show in Huntsville. He did do the show with the protective uh, boot. And uh, he says he sprained a bleep out of my ankle. Now I got to rock this boot for four to six weeks. Um, yeah, I don't know if this is going to help the situation to be sedentary. Anyway, um, Mammoth WVH was headlining shows booked through Saturday. You know, the more, um, the more I hear the name Mammoth VWH, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I, I don't know. Um, it's too closely related to Van Halen. And what bothers me is that, you know, Wolfie doesn't really want to have anything to do with Van Halen now. And I think that's unfortunate. And, you know, they just go on here to talk about his performances on Jimmy Kimmel and uh, the acoustic thing he did on the Today Show. And he was backing up um, the North American leg of the Guns N' Roses were effing back tour. Yeah, great. So anyway, um, you know, he says, uh, I'm going to be like Dave Grohl for a while. Be patient with me. Um, the bottom line is, you know, his mother, who I think did something with Nutrisystem or Jenny Craig or something like that. She was the sponsor, you know, the person that would go out there, not the sponsor, spokesperson who would go out there. And, you know, she allegedly used the product and then lost weight probably made a ton of money doing that, by the way. It's a very lucrative deal when you can nab a celebrity. Maybe, I don't know, Jenny Craig or Nutrisystem needs to uh, give Wolfgang Van Halen a call. It's unfortunate that in the rock and roll industry, that image is so important, but it just is. I mean, look at these newscasts today with these women who are stuffed into these dresses. They look like they're you know, going to a nightclub and they're doing the weather, you know, and do I think it's appropriate to focus so much on that aspect? It depends. I mean, if you're going to be shot like me, which is, you know, again, it's convenient for me because um, I'm kind of in the Vince Neal category, you know, so, um, you know, th this works for me, but if I'm running around on stage or, you know, you get the full body shot on the newscast, it, it's different. 
and uh, people today are a hundred times more judgmental than they used to be. They just are. Um, but in the rock and roll business, image is really, really important. Um, if they can bust on Vince Neil, who didn't always look the way he looks, they're certainly going to bust on Wolfie. And there's a lot of people that are already mad at Wolfie because he has really distanced himself um, from, you know, wanting to do anything with Van Halen or, you know, not even a tribute concert or um, putting together, you know, a few shows with maybe Dave and Sam, maybe Mitch Malloy. <laughs> that would probably be a better choice. But in any event, um, we wish Wolfie the best and maybe someone will intervene on his behalf. Maybe there's some other issue. Obviously he lost his father last year. So that hasn't helped the situation. And there's so much pressure on him to be like his dad or to live up to the Van Halen name that consequently, um, you know, you could be seeing some kind of an, an eating disorder or just eating for comfort. It's comfort food and you eat it. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, but we wish Wolfie the best full recovery. And, um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.